Hey, how's it going guys? Adam from AA for Entrepreneurs here with Roots to Remedy. How are you doing today? I'm great. This is a blast. This is this is so amazing. It's hard I, to be not good, right? right? <laughs> Seriously, there's like so many good vibes here. It's, it's just, the, and the growth from last year to this year is just literally so incredible. Oh, we missed last year, but we are so excited to be here this year. Definitely. I mean, it, so many good people. This is awesome. Yeah, and your product's amazing. She, she let me try some product and I'm gonna try some more. Oh my God, I cannot say enough good things about this. Thank you. Oh. Thank you. So for, for my listeners and watchers that might not know who you are, tell us tell us a little bit about your business. So my name's Angela, and my husband and I own Roots to Remedies up in Millinocket, Maine. And we got tired of brownies and Fruity Pebble treats and everything, but we needed to medicate. So we wanted to go for a healthier edible. So we've got vegan edibles, gluten-free edibles. Thing, all our edibles are made with organic sugar, non-GMO corn syrup. And what we're trying to do is show the world that edibles can taste good, but still be good for you. They don't have to be sugar. It doesn't have to be all these things that are bad for us. Come on, this is supposed to be the cure for cancer and sugar causes cancer. So to us, that's what it was about. We're trying to bring people things that are good for them. That's so important too. Like people, I think a lot of people don't realize that anything you put in your body is either fighting cancer or feeding it. There's no in between. No, there's not. Absolutely. So, you know, a couple of years ago, my husband and I became vegan and I looked at all these edibles and our money and I was like, oh no, what are we going to do? And well... We, here we are, yeah. Our skincare products have no animal byproducts, like nothing. You test all your animal products, like on your, I mean, all your uh, products on yourself? Absolutely, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Perfect, that's, that's the way to do it. I don't even understand why there's animal testing anymore. Like, there's no point. Use it on your body. If it's not poison, use it on yourself. Don't use it on poor animals, you know? Right, right. Um, so, kind of piggybacking off of that, how do you feel that Massachusetts is doing with their legislation for legal cannabis? Well, I came down here from Maine and there are at least a couple of stores here in Massachusetts open and people have access. In Maine, I'm a medical marijuana caregiver and I have people walk in my store every day looking for legal access to a law that was passed and they don't have it. There is nowhere. And I know that in Massachusetts, there's a struggle as well. There's only two stores, but you guys are a little bit ahead of it there at least. At least people can go get their cannabis without yeah. a car. I think they just approved uh, four more too. Nice. So, And I think one actually opens today, the one oh, in Salem. Wow. Very good, very good. So, I mean, we were told that Maine would have our first sales in 2019, so. We're nipping at your heels, you know, we're waiting. <laughs> Maine, Maine cannabis is so amazing. I have some friends up there that are growers and I'm seriously. A grower. Nice. I'm a grower. We just didn't bring our THC products and all of that to Massachusetts, you know, so. What, what uh, how do you grow? Veganically. We grow in soil and we grow veganically. That's amazing. I definitely need to talk to you a little bit more about that for sure. Um, so just to kind of wrap up this, how uh, has cannabis personally helped you? I was prescribed cannabis for chronic pain a few years back. My husband and I used to do construction and cannabis for me, uh, okay, I was over 200 pounds. I was not healthy. I ate a lot of GMOs and McDonald's and crap. So I mean, cannabis has been this whole journey into treating my body healthier and doing better things for me and then just sharing the knowledge with other people. Hey, I tried this and it felt great. Um, my husband personally suffered with addiction and um, he got clean off of methadone two years ago. So cannabis has also saved like our marriage. It's Cannabis is everything. That's so amazing to hear. That's actually the second time I've heard somebody coming off of uh, like a, a pill problem, you know, or addiction problem, I should say, sorry. And that's so important for people to hear, that's especially like watchers, listeners, like there's so much cannabis could do that just isn't even talked about, you know, and that's one of the major things. I, I know, I mean, imagine when 
all, all the testing, it's been all underground and everything. And we know, I mean, we know the amazing benefits of this plan. Yep. But imagine all the things we don't know. Exactly. How exciting is that? So like, exciting. like all the things that it's going to be good for. We've barely touched the tip of an iceberg. That's so exciting, honestly. I can't wait because there's just not studies done on basically anything. You know, like you can't find a study on the effects of cannabis on a pregnant woman. My fiance is pregnant, so now she's like, it's too scared to smoke. They surprised, drug tested her the first time. They did like a urine test. They didn't even tell her, like, which wasn't a big deal. She didn't even pop her THC, but it's crazy. I have actually had the blessing of being able to see two different patients through their pregnancies with cannabis. Their doctors gave them cannabis. And I know two very healthy children and personally, my own belief is they say that the baby feels everything the mother feels. So if you're prescribed something for anxiety or this or that, like you're, a, a mother could be miserable if they don't have their anxiety checked or their pain checked or anything, and that baby's gonna pick up on all of that. You know, it's a plant, God gave it to us. In all honesty, I think we're over-regulating it. I agree. I completely Maine, and utterly agree. In Maine, we need our new childproof packaging and we need this and that. And it should be. I mean, don't get me wrong. But like one of the sore spots with me is a parent can walk through the grocery store in Maine with their child and the booze is right over here at child's level. I mean, there's no, it would be easy for a child, three-year-old I'm talking, mom's over here, not looking for one second, and boom, the booze is down, the glass cuts the kid and all of that. Under-regulated, well, we're over-regulated, but at least we're doing it. At least we're getting to do it. One of the funniest things I think I see in this whole industry is how they say edibles are marketed to kids, but then they have all these like fruity drinks and like things that look like fruit punch and root beer and Mountain Dew for alcohol, you yeah. know, like, but we get in trouble for advertising to kids. Like it's ridiculous. Right. Yeah, absolutely. So. Absolutely. Meanwhile, all the children in my family understand the difference. Like the children in my family know that, you know, they don't just go take things that, that don't belong to them, you know, and shove it in their mouth. Like, Things could be anything. Yeah, it's important for parents to educate their children as well. Right. Completely agree. That's how we get rid of this stigma is just education, education, education. Absolutely. Education. You know, it's time to stop being ashamed. We don't need to hide this in the closet anymore. Yes. Don't hide it from your children. Yes. This is medicine. People take their oxycodone in front of their kids all the time. They say it's medicine. This is medicine. Yep. And way better for you. Way better for you. It actually heals you. Absolutely. So, I like to tell people all the time the difference between this medicine and the other medicine is the other medicine is meant to mask all your symptoms. And so it masks your symptoms and with tremendous side effects. This doesn't mask your symptoms. This helps you. This heals you. I mean, come on. Us stoners are always smiling for a reason. <laughs> we feel good. We're so happy. <laughs> it, it's like if... If you were here right now, you would see how many smiles there are and how many happy people and just good vibes Absolutely. all around. It's amazing. Such a great day. So uh, just to kind of wrap up, uh, let my listeners and watchers know where they can find you on social media. So you can find me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, roots to remedies.com. That's roots, the number two, remedies.com. If you can't remember that, Google cannabis, Millinock at Maine, you will find me. Uh, Thank you. Thank you so much for talking Thanks to me. So all right, have a great day.